take my wedding hand to my desert land, wash my soul. Take my wedding hand to my desert land, wash my soul. From the hammering, I'm on the kick it clean. I wonder how long. From the hammering, I wonder kick it clean. I wonder how long. I lay down every night at my best. I'm all way down in the light. In a dark room Calling my name mm-hmm. Shine my diamond ring Take my silver ring Keep my baby from the cold Shine my diamond ring, take my silver ring, keep my baby from the cold. Mama, come to me, set my soldier free, keep my baby from the cold. I lay down every night at my best. I'm all away down in the light of the dark. It's interesting hearing you play Shine My Diamond Ring because it's, it's sort of a gut bucket blues, you know? I yeah. Mean, it seems to be somewhere in the John Lee Hooker territory. I'm wondering yeah. if, that, if, if those type of people, or maybe Elmore James even, were big influences on you. Yeah, well, John Lee Hooker, for sure. Uh, he was like the first blues guy I was turned on to when I was 18. Mm-hmm. And uh, I really resonated with him because of his voice, too. But his guitar style... It made me want to get, um, I ended up getting a cherry red uh, hollow body, you know, so I was just really inspired by his style. And, uh, you know, uh, I sold it soon after because <laughs> I needed to get to Texas. Desperate times. <laughs> Desperate times. But, uh, but yeah, his style really influenced my playing. So did uh, uh, R.O. Burnside, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about uh, this guitar. Well, over the years, it's it's gone more and more to the other side of hybridization, I guess <laughs> you could say. It's uh, I had a, a guitar tech, um, a friend of mine back home, uh, install this for me. This, so this is an Epiphone uh, bridge electric pickup, and he embedded it into a uh, feedback uh, stopper. <laughs> and, and so there's a separate jack. Uh, on the side of the guitar just for the electric pickup. Plus I use electric strings. These are flat wounds. Hmm. Except for the 
it for the E string because I found that using the prepared guitar with flat wounds, it doesn't take to the strings because I guess it's too smooth. Hmm. So I use the standard electric, but I use medium gauge so it's a thicker sound. Is, is the tape an art statement or are you covering up uh, cracks or something? Please? My real goal with that was to be able to recognize my guitar in a cornfield 500 yards away in case <laughs> that, you know, that's, that's, that can happen. You know, so I want to be able to pick it out out of a lineup, a guitar lineup. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this is like, it's also got an acoustic pickup inside, so it's a combination of both sounds. When you do the, the kind of prepared guitar, I saw you yeah. slip in a dollar and a pen there. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what's the effect you're going for? Is it just uh, kind of a raggedy? Yeah, it kind of changes the sound organically, which I'm naturally attracted to. I like sort of, because there's a lot more, um, I don't know, I think it's a lot more playful and it's a little bit like it's so subtle uh subtlety in that it's really hard to duplicate you know like if you got a guitar pedal you know kind of what to expect if you put it on a certain setting but with things you do organically to the guitar like a slight variable could change the whole thing and i kind of like that sort of flexibility it has with that but it, it dampens the strings and the pen sort of makes the the low string buzz, which I like for certain things. Seems like a lot of the old blues tunes also had sort of overdrive on the the, the mics or whatever. You know, it seems like a lot of times you were hearing a certain yeah. kind of distortion that kind of added to the impact of it. Also, the way that they played too sort of prepared the guitar. You know, because yeah. they all had like the right hand style. Very were percussive. Very different. Yeah. Yeah. Take my possessions, leave me an open door. In the city has a way just to make you forget about half the stuff you love and things you don't know yet about the space that's left. When nobody talks about the quiet on the path When nobody walks When the road takes me to the other side of the world Let a walnut tree replacement Give my body back to the birds Or should I bless the world? No. Then the city has a way just to make you forget About half the stuff you love and things you don't know yet About the space that's left when nobody talks About the quiet on the path when nobody walks When the road takes me To the other side of the world And till the end decides to break me I will put my hand on the word
I know you've done a lot of uh, living room concerts. You did a, yeah. basically a whole tour of that, right? Yeah. Tell me about that experience and what, sort of what it does for you to be able to get into the songs with that kind of intimacy with the audience. For what I want out of the music, it's appropriate, I guess you could say, for me. Because I'm always looking for that raw feeling, you know, of connection with the audience. You know, and it, it just doesn't matter that it's a house or a club. It just... It depends on the people that are there and unseen forces that you you can't know. But a, a house seems to create uh, an intimacy from the start that you can't really duplicate in a club. And it can go either way, you know what I mean? It can be amazing or it can be awkward, you know? Uh, so it's just like playing anywhere, though. You never know what you're going to get into. So that's the excitement part of it but I wanted to do something different than I've been doing so we embarked on this house concert tour and played almost house shows for like six months tell me a little bit about your new EP in which you cover uh, six songs yeah. by, by all women artists yeah. uh, what, what yeah. drove you to do that I knew right away what I didn't want to do with it which was to do a sort of a kitschy uh, you know covering an artist that um I'm only covering because it's kind of a goofball thing and uh, it, it would, you know, hopefully get me some sort of notoriety and in the sense of like attracting a bunch of people, you know, at once, you know, which I've seen that done in the past on YouTube and it just doesn't last, you know, and um, I wanted to be to be real about it. And so I just picked artists that I really loved that I think the writing is stellar and and I thought maybe I could tie a theme around it, you know, and, and have it all be female artists, you know. And also, because I have a tendency to do covers that have been around for a while, to do like more of an updated um, song list to songs that came out, you know, after 2000. Tell us a little bit about some of the people that are on there. Well, uh, Nico, let's see. Nico Case. Is, yeah, Nico Case. That's, um, a, that's an interesting choice, especially the way you do it, because, I mean, her version is very kind of uh, popish, I would say. Yeah. Almost, uh, you try to, you know, you try to, t for me, this is what I try to do, is I try to, like, take what the artist did and, and understand what kind of feeling was behind it, even if I don't know what it is that they're talking about for themselves. You can get, like, the the overall feeling of it you know try to preserve that quality because I don't like when a cover is done and they don't preserve the quality the emotion coming through in the original it's just weird uh, it's weird to go to change it like that so I just don't know if I, I don't know I can't really look at it uh, objectively uh, from my point of view but I don't know if I if I nailed it with that song um, but Nico is somebody that I really admire vocally. I think she's a tremendous uh, singer. Sings with a lot of authority, which I like. And uh, also her lyrics are great. You know, she's very thoughtful about it. When did you discover your voice? I was in uh, 11th grade, I think, and I was practicing with my band at the time, my high school band in my friend's garage, and uh, we were covering a lot of rock at the time and doing like the Black Crows, the Doors, you know, we were into that kind of stuff. And I was the singer by default because we couldn't really find a singer. I played bass actually. And, but I would cover a lot of the rehearsals because we couldn't find a singer. So I would sing because there's nobody else singing. And with the, with the sort of thought that, okay, well this will be, I'll set everything up so somebody can come in, <laughs> take over, I'll go back to playing bass. But uh, this one particular day, we, I was covering uh, Black Sabbath, the actual song Black Sabbath. <laughs> and, uh, and my voice uh, dropped during this, <laughs> while I was singing tremendously. And it was kind of funny for me. It was, it was just, it was, I guess it was very humorous to the rest of the gang. We all stopped playing and I think they started laughing. <laughs> And they're like, what is going on? And I said, I don't know. But, you know, I felt like inside, like, this is kind of cool. And uh, my voice is naturally deeper than most other singers, which is good and bad if you're trying to get in a rock band in the early 90s. Everybody wants <laughs> to sound like, you know, Robert Plant. But uh, but uh, it, worked, it worked out for me. You know, I sort of came into my 
myself in the, in with the voice. You know. Think I leave your side, baby? I wouldn't do that. You think I leave you down when you're down on your knees? I couldn't do that. I tell you you're right when you're wrong. And if only you could see into me Oh, when you're low, I'll be there by your side When you're on the outside and you can't get in I will show you You're so much better than you know When you're lost And you're alone And you can't get back again I will find you And bring you home And if you want to cry I'll be there to dry your eyes And in no time You'll be fine You think I'd leave your side, baby? You think I leave you down when you're down on your knees? I just couldn't do that. I tell you you're right when you're wrong. And if only you could. Seeing to me Oh, when you're low I'll be there By your side, baby Oh, when you're cold I'll be there Hold you tight. Sweet. Great. Yeah, that was awesome. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks.